Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and today I'm going to show you what to do if the cellular option is missing on Windows 11 and how to enable it again. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to update, reinstall or uninstall the cellular adapter drivers. All of these options are valid because sometimes a current driver is not working well or you just need or you just need to update to a better driver or simply reinstall the current driver if it installed with corrupted files. So what you have to do is right click the Windows button then select device manager from the list of options and in here in the device manager window head over to the network adapters and make sure and make sure to locate the mobile broadband device or a similar name or simply your network device. Now click on properties then head over to the driver tab and in here you have a few options that will deal with your issue. First of all you can update the driver so click on this button then select search automatically for drivers. Windows will now try to find the best available drivers on your PC and install the drivers for you. Afterwards you can restart your computer but if this method doesn't prove useful you can also roll back the drivers. So click on roll back drivers and this will roll back to the previously installed driver. Now if this solution doesn't work either, you can try to uninstall the device. So click on uninstall device, then tick the box next to attempt to remove the driver for this device, then restart your computer. You'll see that Windows will automatically attempt to reinstall the same driver and then you can check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to reconfigure the adapter settings. Now to do this press the windows button then simply type ncpa.cpl and select it as a control panel item from the search result. The next thing you have to do now is right click on the cellular network adapter and select properties. Now in here scroll down until you find the select this suspend option and make sure to click on it and afterwards click on the value drop down menu and select the enabled option. Now click on OK to save the changes, restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Lastly, another useful solution is to perform a system restore. To do this, press the Windows button, then type in RSTRUY and select it as a run command from the search results. In here, click on Next, choose the earliest point in time before the problem occurred, then click on Next once again and click on the Finish button to start the restoration process. Now from here on everything is super super simple. You can just wait until the process is finished, then you can check if the problem still persists. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? Of course if this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching.